Welcome to the assignment manager for your MyLab Brady course. The assignment manager within MyLab's instructor tools is your one stop for any customizations that you would like implemented within your course. By the end of this tutorial, you'll understand how to edit an assignment individually, as well as how to edit assignments in bulk, how to assign due dates, as well as change start dates, how to edit the content within an assignment, how to assign the chapter tests that are pre-built within your course, and how to manage additional assignment settings beyond start dates and due dates. So let's get started. Log in to your MyLab course, click Instructor Tools, then select the Assignment Manager. You'll see that we've pre-built a wealth of activities for your students. With the exception of a chapter test, all of these assignments are already pre-assigned within your course, meaning that they are automatically available to your students. However, the powerful Assignment Manager within Instructor Tools allows you to make a number of changes so that you can customize your course to meet your needs. Assignments can be managed individually or in bulk, depending on how you want to customize and how you prefer to work. To manage an assignment individually, simply find the assignment you wish to change and use the Actions drop-down menu. To manage an assignment in bulk, simply click the Change Dates and Assign Status button. We'll start today by walking through how to assign start dates and due dates to your assignments. To assign a due date or adjust a start date for an assignment individually, go to the Actions drop-down menu and select Settings for Class. Here you can adjust the start date if needed. By default, it's automatically available from the day that you created your course. By adjusting the start date, students will see that they have an upcoming assignment, but they will not be able to access it until it becomes available on the date you select. Additionally, you can set a due date. In either case, you can click within the box to set the date or click the calendar icon. You also have the ability to adjust a starting or ending time. Again, click within the box or click the clock icon to make your selection. When you've completed your changes, simply scroll and then select Save and Assign. Please know that if you want the assignment to be available to your students, you will always need to click the Save and Assign button. Simply clicking Save will unassign the assignment, making it unavailable to your students. However, many instructors feel it's easier to change your dates in bulk. To achieve this, from the Assignment Manager page, click Change Dates and Assign Status. Whenever I land on this page, I always lose the right side of my screen. So I'm going to start by hiding my left menu bar so I have a bigger workspace. Go to the top left and click the three lines indicating the menu bar. You can always click them again to get your menu back. Now I can use the top bar, the multiple assignment settings bar, to make changes to the assignments that I am selecting. You can either go through and click the boxes individually in the far left for any assignment that you want the change to be applied to. Or you can click the box in the far left in the top gray bar to select all assignments. For the purpose of this demonstration, I want to make all of the assignments for chapter one have the same due date. I'm going to use this chapters drop down menu to select a chapter with all of my chapter one items showing. I'm going to click the box in the far left to select all of the chapter one assignments. 
Then I'll use the multiple assignment settings bar at the top to set my due date. Again, I can click the calendar icon or work directly in the box. Saving my change is a two-step process. I'm going to hit apply to selected to apply this change to all of the items that I have selected underneath it. Then to save my changes, I'm going to select update changes only. Because you have both a student and instructor view within your MyLab course, you can always double check that you've applied a change correctly by backing out of instructor tools. I'll hit the menu bar, then main menu, then view student home. I can see in my scrolling calendar that I have correctly applied that due date within my course. Then I can go back into instructor tools and back into the assignment manager to continue setting my dates. If I don't want students to work ahead, that's when I would also adjust my start dates. Again, I can go to change dates and assign status. This time I will select chapter two. Again, I will use the box in the far left to select all of my chapter two assignments. I'll place the start date for the Monday after my chapter one end date, hit apply to selected, and set a due date, and again, hit apply to selected. You can see those dates have been applied to the chapter two assignments. Now I'm going to select update changes only. And again, if I back out, and go back to my student home, I can see that I have correctly assigned my start dates and my due dates. If you want to customize the content within any of our pre-built assignments, you do need to make this change individually. Perhaps you want to edit down the number of questions or add your own. From the assignment manager main page, find the assignment you wish to customize and then Using the Actions drop-down menu, select Edit. There's always three steps when editing an assignment. Step one allows you to change the name. Step two is our Add Remove Content page. This is where you can go about customizing the content within a given assignment. Before editing any of our pre-built assignments, please know this. All questions within the MyLab are tagged with a question ID number. The first number in the tag pertains to the chapter number. The second number in the tag pertains to the learning outcome. The third number pertains to the number of questions we have for that chapter and that outcome. In the case of our paramedic care course, the tag additionally tells of the volume used. Most assignments within MyLab Brady are pre-built with two questions per learning outcome. And finally, the questions named chapter test are actual test bank questions. From this add or move content page, you can see all of the content that will appear in your assignment in the My Selection section on the right. Available questions appear on the left. If you do wish to add additional questions, you can go to the available question list and simply click the box next to the question and select add. Clicking on the question itself will allow you to preview the test question and add it to your test. From this page, if you do wish to include the question, you can simply hit add. If you don't wish to add the question, you can simply hit next to move on to the next question. If you feel the assignment is too long and you wish to edit it down, we generally suggest that you make sure that you're still including all of the learning outcomes that are covered in the chapter. So perhaps you want to simply eliminate the second of the two questions 
that pertain to that learning outcome. Knowing the question ID tag, I know that the first two questions in this assignment pertain to chapter one, learning outcome one. I can simply select the second question and then remove. Additionally, if I want to pare down the assignment, rather than removing a question, I could pool the questions. When you pool questions, students do not receive the same assignments. Each will receive one of the questions from your pooled list. Again, we recommend pooling among the same set of learning outcomes. In this case, questions three and four in the assignment are both from chapter one, learning outcome three. If I select question three and select question four, I can pull those questions and then all of my students will receive one of these two questions as the third question on their assignment. Remember, when you're done with your changes, scroll and select save and assign. If you do want to use our chapter test, that does need to be assigned to your students. We leave it to your discretion whether you want to use our test or create your own. To assign a chapter test, you can do that individually by simply going to the Actions drop-down menu and selecting Assign. You can also assign in bulk by hitting the Change Dates and Assign Status button. This time, I'm going to make sure all chapters are selected. I'll use the box in the far left to select every assignment and in the Assigned column, click Assigned, Apply to Selected, and then Update Changes Only. You can see that all chapter tests are now assigned within the course. After you assign your chapter test, you may also want to consider more advanced settings. For example, consider setting the start date and end date for the same day with a short time window so students can only work the test on a given day at a given time. You may make this change either individually or in bulk. Additionally, you may want to consider setting a time limit or limiting the number of attempts on the test to one. To make this change or other advanced settings, either go to the settings page from the actions drop down menu, or to make this change in bulk, go to more tools from the main assignment manager page, then select change settings for multiple assignments. From here, select the assignment type. Each assignment type has their own set of options. Items designated in light gray are the default settings that you'll see for this given assignment type. Here you can set scoring options, including allowing for late submissions and if you choose to, applying a penalty. This page also allows you to limit the number of attempts per assignment. or set a time limit. You can also choose how and when students see their results. Perhaps you don't want students to be able to review their results until the due date has passed, so all students have submitted that test. You can make that change here. And as always, you will want to save your changes. You can do that by scrolling to the bottom and selecting Apply Settings. So that's a quick look at the Assignment Manager within Pearson's MyLab. Following these steps in this video will get you headed in the right direction as you begin customizing your course. To learn more about other Assignment Manager features, please watch our additional tutorials. You'll find a quick link to these implementation videos on the MyLab Brady Educator Training and Support tab. Click How Do I Videos. Thanks for watching.